Hi guys, this is Steven with AffiliateMarketingDiary.com. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of this navigation bar, the blogger navigation bar at the top of your blog. And that's uh, displayed just above our great looking uh, header, graphical header that we created in uh, a previous video. In other words, what I mean to do is actually this. As you can see in my entertainment blog here, there is no navigation bar at the top. So why would we want to do that? Well, it's for me, it's only one reason. It's to prevent as uh, few leaks out of your site as possible. What I mean by leaks is uh, areas of your blog where people can click away. So uh, what you want to prevent is people actually going in here, typing something into this search area here and clicking search blog. And you also don't want people to click on this next blog button because we don't make any money when they click away on those. The whole idea is that they click on either your AdSense or YPN ads or maybe one of your affiliate ads, uh, paper lead, paper action type of ads that you might have on your uh, uh, blog or in your blog content as a link, anchor text link out of your site to an affiliate product for instance. So what exactly do we have to do to get rid of this? It's actually quite simple. Uh, to remove the nav bar you just add a CSS definition to the top of the template code. Now you might be going, huh? What the heck? Code speak, I do not understand. But it's okay, uh, it's very simple, and I'll give you guys the code right here. It's a very simple CSS definition, uh, it's right here. It pretty much tells it to do not display the nav bar. So where do we actually put this beautiful line of code? Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this. Go back and uh, log into your account. If you're not there already, just go ahead and uh, log in yourself so you can just kind of follow along. I'm already logged in, so let me go to uh, the, the blog, blog uh, dashboard area here. Actually, I'm gonna go to the template area here. And uh, again, this might look familiar to uh, some of you, page elements and everything. Where we want to go is this edit HTML area again. And just scroll down to this edit template section here. And what you want to do is take that code that we uh, just had right here and uh, plug it in right here. It's just underneath all of this uh, text uh, telling you about the blog, uh, blogger template style and you know the author, all that stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit enter a couple of times here just to make some space. And I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it in there. Save the template. By the way, a good rule of thumb and uh, I'm uh, giving this as a warning is to uh, actually copy this this whole thing you can do that by clicking control A and um, then just uh, copy and paste this into a text document and just save it on your desktop before you start editing anything just in case you break your blog so now that uh, we've actually saved this um, uh, definition here let's go ahead and take a look at the blog there you go. Now that nav bar has disappeared miraculously. And uh, that's it. Very simple. Told you guys it was very straightforward. Nothing to it. I hope uh, this was useful. And in the next video, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to put in the Google Analytics code into your blog. Thank you. This is Steven with AffiliateMarketingDiary.com.